Hello everybody and welcome to my Velkaz guide to the mid and support lane. A little bit of background on my Velkaz experience. I have over 200,000 mastery points uh, throughout my accounts and uh, I have a 65% win rate on uh, Velkaz. The um, reason why I wanted to bring this guide is because he has recently uh, seen some more play in uh, pro play as a counter to Azir and a counter to a couple of the mages that are meta right now. So it is a very very good pick and uh, I really want to encourage some players maybe that aren't the biggest uh, Velkaz players to uh, give him a shot because he is a great mage he's a little bit underrated and people aren't really too good at team fighting against Velkaz especially in the lower elos where um, people tend to funnel into the uh, choke points and this is where Velkaz just is one of the best mages in those situations with the massive amount of AOE damage and uh, true damage shredding tanks as a well as well as the uh, carries all right and a little bit of housekeeping before we get into the uh, Velkaz guide there are uh, timestamps in the description and I also wanted to let you guys know um, I am going to be taking a deeper look into uh, each of the champions I do a guide on. I just want to kind of get my champion pool out there with a guide for each of them. And then I'm going to go back and give a more advanced look into each of them. Just kind of diving into the stats, diving into the matchups, and just diving into the, how you're able to CS. And just all the pros and cons of the uh, certain champions and kind of more targeted towards those uh, one trick people those uh, really advanced users as opposed to the more broad strokes that I take with the uh, guides this is going to be a very fine um, detailed look at it they are going to be a little bit shorter than the uh, big guides but I am really excited to uh, start releasing those after I get my full champion pool out there I think I have about three or four more mages I need to go through before I start doing that. But yeah, look out for those. Uh, if you enjoyed any of my previous guides, uh, it will be uh, really fun to see what you guys think of those as well. All right, and let's dive right into Velkaz's kit. Starting off with his passive, Organic Deconstruction. Velkaz's abilities apply organic destruction to enemies on hit. If three stacks are accumulated, the enemy will take a burst of true damage. Now this is what really separates uh, Velkaz from the other mages, uh, having that bit of true damage in his kit that is extremely rare with uh, mages and it makes him a very strong pick into people that are stacking a lot of magic resistance into you. Um, one little thing to keep in mind with his passive, if you do auto attack it does uh, increase the duration of the passive, so say all of your abilities are down. Uh, you might want to give him an auto attack if you're not under too much threat, just to uh, keep that uh, passive up. Alright, and next onto his Q, Plasma Fission. Velkaz shoots a bolt of plasma that splits into two on reactivation or upon hitting an enemy. The bolt slows and damages on hit. Now this is your primary tool for uh, poking in lane, and it is a great um, skill for uh, both support and mid lane. Um, it can do a very good amount of damage with Comet just because it gives you that perfect amount of slow that it is really un-dodgeable uh, with the Comet. Alright, and next on to his W, Void Rift. Vilkaz opens a rift to the void and deals an initial burst of damage, then explodes for a second burst of damage after a delay. Now this is a really good skill because it synergizes really well with its, its passive, just uh, giving you two procs of that passive. So it, if you're in a choke point and you lay down a good W, it can really do a lot of damage. Now this is um, the skill to really watch in the mid lane because it is great for wave clearing minions if you're maxing that uh, W first. It is a very effective tool for both uh, PvE and against uh, enemy champions. Alright, and on to Velkaz's E, Tectonic Disruption. Velkaz causes an area that explodes, knocking up enemies and knocking close enemies slightly away. Now this is a great CC ability because it is a knockup, so you don't have to worry about it getting uh, QSS'd and having uh, zero effect. Uh, it is a very powerful tool in choke points where you can get several targets hit with it 
it is a all around great spell and again it does give you a uh, stack of your passive when you hit it all right and on to Velkaz's alt life form disintegration ray Velkaz unleashes a channeled beam that follows the cursor for 2.5 seconds that deals magic damage organic destruction researches enemy champions causing them to take true damage instead now this is what gives Velkaz just so much power in team fights now uh, one of the downfalls of it is you are stationary and it can be interrupted by everything from stuns to just uh, a cassid in queue that interrupts channels so you have to make sure you're in a good spot for this uh, the plus size is it has a amazing range so you can uh, really be far away doing a lot of damage and um, in the bot lane right when you hit level six this ability just has very little that can match it out of the support role it just does so much damage so you can really look for those all wins at level six when you are a support or even mid lane and you will do a lot of damage all right and moving on to Velkaz's runes he has a very defined meta in what is best for him being Comet. It is what everyone takes. It is what all the pros take. It is just a amazing, amazing keystone for him. It synergizes so well with his Q and the slow that you get off it. So I do recommend uh, Arcane Comet over anything else. It is just it's perfect for Velkaz. And moving on to the second row. I recommend getting Mana Flow Band. Um, your ult already has a relatively low cooldown, so you don't really have to worry about the ultimate hat. And uh, your spells are pretty expensive um, in the uh, early game, especially if you're support and not getting that mana back from killing uh, ch from killing uh, the minions with your Q. Uh, it really helps bridge the gap before you f get that first mana item. So Mana Flow Band is definitely uh, the best pickup in that line. And uh, second on that list we are going down to transcendence now with Velkaz's passive giving him true damage and it having no cooldown on that passive cooldown reduction is so important on Velkaz so at this, as soon as you can get 45 40% or 45% the better it is just the primary stat that you need on Velkaz you always need you always should be working for that max CDR before anything else and on to that final row, uh, Gathering Storm is good if you're finding yourself uh, in games that are lasting really long. It's just kind of a what your elo is like. But I actually prefer Scorch, giving you a little bit more uh, of that early game poke, kind of bridging the uh, power trough you have in the early game before you get the early CDR and that early damage, because you're already really a late game monster on Velka, so you don't have to worry about uh, gathering storm too much scorch is just a great pickup now if you want to try something else a little different in the uh, keystones and you just want a little burst try and burst out a, a squishy enemy you can try electrocute um, it is really uh, rare, rarely used I'd say about one in 40 pros try out the electrocute as opposed to comet but if you're feeling adventurous it's it's worth a try. Uh, the old Thunderlords used to be very good on Velkaz, but uh, it has to be three separate spells, so you have to be hitting your QWE, not your Q, and then both the W procs. Um, if you want to go down Domination for uh, the secondary tree, uh, there's a couple good things uh, to pick out. Uh, there's Cheap Shot, the little proc off your E. Uh, Ravenous Hunter is also uh, pretty, it's okay <laughs> for lanes to stay. In, uh, it's not the best. Definitely an inspiration, in my opinion, is the most meta. And uh, Zombie Word is a good pickup if you are going support and you want a little bit more vision control. With the tracker's knife being taken out of the game, there's definitely less wards in the game. All right, and on to my second or my favorite uh, secondary tree. That would be Inspiration. Now, uh, the most important one on this row is Cosmic Insight, giving you that 5% CDR and the max 5% CDR, which is so important on Velkaz again with the uh, same thing as Transcendence. It just synergizes really well with your passive. Uh, magical Footwear is good if you just uh, want to get that free 300 gold and a little bit faster movement speed. 
And uh, also, uh, perfect timing is really good against enemies that have a high impact all like Zed or Fizz or uh, Talon. Uh, another thing you can pick up in that tree, uh, the only time I'd recommend this is if you're really in a hard matchup where you're getting poked a lot, uh, Mana Biscuits can be okay. Now, uh, moving on to uh, Resolve, if you find yourself just struggling so hard against a certain matchup, this can really help bridge the early game gap just because of the power of Bone Plating right now. Uh, it is a really strong ability. It's getting nerfed soon in the next patch, uh, but it is a uh, very, it can stop some of those early game kills with uh, Velkos being so squishy early. And another great thing is second win, just giving you that little bit more sustain in lane. Now, I have seen a few pros using the uh, Frozen Augment on Velkaz. I don't know, to maybe guarantee their Q to hit. Uh, it it seems like a little bit of a troll keystone, but uh, feeling adventurous, feeling kind of fun, like you're just stomping everyone with Velkaz, which he tends to do because it's a great pick. Uh, give it a try sometime. <laughs> it, is, it, it, it can be quite fun. All right, and moving into Velkaz's items, uh, let's take a look at that first row, the mana item slash 20% CDR row. So uh, let's start with the uh, most picked first. Uh, the Archangel Staff is a great pickup because it gives you just that massive mana pool, gives you that great defensive of a shield, and it is a, just a powerful pickup for the mid lane Velkaz. Now, I wouldn't recommend this in the support lane, just because it is so slow and it just really reduces your impact in laning phase. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you don't really have the resources of a mid laner. So uh, I would say only pick up that Archangels if you are in the uh, mid lane. Now on to my uh, personal favorite when I'm running him support. Uh, I do run the Archangels when I am in mid. But when I run support, I always rush the Lunins first. It gives you a great mid game, right? When you pick up your uh, first item, it gives you a, it gives you everything you want. It gives you the mana you need in the early game. It gives you the 20% CDR, and it increases your poke damage by quite a bit. And it can also uh, proc your Rylize and Leandries on those Luden Echo procs. So it gives you even a little bit more of a spread AOE damage and slow. Now the third one on that line, kind of a fun pickup, is the GLP. It gives you a little bit more uh, AOE damage uh, and uh, give you a lot more catch. And it can guarantee some of those uh, slower moving skill shots that people tend to dodge out. Like it, it, it can make your E a lot easier to hit. Uh, it's kind of a fun pickup. I recommend you give it a try sometime. Just see how it feels. Uh, it is not. It doesn't have the poking power of Ludens, and it doesn't have the defensive abilities of Archangels. But if they have an enemy team comp that is a very, very uh, just immobile, this could be a very uh, viable pick in my opinion. Um, I wouldn't completely rule it out. It can be fun, so I re I recommend you give it a try. Um, On to that second line. Now, with this second line, I personally think it should only be uh, gone into when you are a support. Um, I know this might be a little bit controversial, but um, the mid lane uh, Velkaz, you just want to go damage really quick. You want to go, I don't know, Archangels, uh, Morellos, uh, Rabadons, and that should be your build. Maybe a late uh Rylize, but uh this utility line is definitely for the support just so it gives you a little bit more uh peeling with your skills and on to that uh oh and we should talk about how good leandries is on your alt because it continuously applies it and it the slow is continuously applied as well so it's centered the both those items synergize really well with your kit but with the spell pen being taken away from the Andres, it's not the best for uh, mid lane Velkaz. Or it's not as good as it was. Okay, and on to the uh, situational line. Um, so a, a, a great item, actually, that can be picked up for the uh, support is the Twin Shadows. Giving you a little bit more of that pick. A little bit more of just kind of that X factor that you need with uh, the less... Uh, uh, wards that are in the game right now so this can be a good pickup if you 
don't really want to um, just face check a lot of bushes being so squishy at, on Belkos. Another great pickup in that line is uh, Morello's giving you a spell pen. It isn't the best though because we are running a lot of uh, true damage on Velkaz, so the spell pen doesn't really help that out, but it can be great against teams with a lot of sustain because you're just constantly firing out spells with that 45% CDR, it can really just get their whole team with that Grievous Wounds debuff. Uh, another little fun, kind of a little bit trolly, but uh, should give it a try if you're snowballing and see if you like how it feels. The Spellbinder's Orb can work great with your ult and your all-in combos because you have such a strong combo if you hit everything that this can just make it so much more deadly. Alright, and on to uh, the late game damage items uh, that can be really effective on Velkaz's first. Uh, the Rabadons is just in a great spot right now. The build path was altered a little bit now with two needlessly large rods, but uh, it does give that extra 5% more AP, and he has great scaling, so Rabadons is a good pickup on Velkaz. And uh, if the other team is running a, just a massive amount of magic resist, uh, Void Staff can be an effective item. We do have that true damage, so it isn't as big of a necessity to pick up as, say, it would be on a different champion. Um, but if uh, it, it is a lot of magic resist on their team, it is definitely uh, a good choice, maybe third or fourth item. All right, and that will wrap up the items for Velkaz. All right, and moving on to Velkaz's matchups. First, let's go over his mid lane matchups uh, with that first row being long range mages. Now, this is one of my favorite matchups with Velkaz because you have similar range to them and it's all about hitting those skill shots. So it really comes down to a skill matchup where you're figuring out, am I better than this guy or is he better than me? So if you're feeling really strong in the elo you're in, you feel like you're just stomping everyone, Velkaz is a great pick into those long range mages. Now, on to mid-range mages, I would say some of the easier matchups for Velkaz actually uh, in the pros being known right now to be a counter to uh, Azir because of his great range and uh, just a massive amount of damage and uh, it, it, you can really auto space him at, at like a Caitlyn would do to a misfortune. Just take advantage of your range, doing damage to them while they can't do damage to you. Um, another mid-range that is pretty popular is uh, that Cassiopeia. She can have a pretty good threat on you, chasing you down. You just have to really respect her Q uh, to get the movement speed and then chasing you down with the ease. So just try and poke from a long range distance using that range against her and just getting her to the health percentage where uh, she just really doesn't want to all in you. Um, she is very predictable and she is chasing you down making her an easy target for your E. So uh, it, it isn't the worst matchup for for sure. And uh, onto another mid-range mage that is pretty popular, uh, Rise. Um, again, you should really just be abusing your range here in this matchup. And uh, they do build rather tanky and sometimes go Abyssal Mask first. So it is nice that you have a good amount of true damage. So I'd say Velkaz is a pretty good pick into almost all of the mid-range mages and on to that last row definitely my least favorite uh, <laughs> uh, cha types of champions to go into uh, Velkaz is very squishy not mobile at all and very limited defensiveness with his E um, so unless you're very versed in the matchup I would say uh, don't really I don't think you should really be t just picking Velkaz into assassins Unless, again, you're just a Velkaz one trick that just knows how to destroy these champions in lane. Maybe you're running perfect timing. You have a certain setup that just really works again against them. Um, Velkaz could be a good choice. Uh, if you have any tips against uh, these assassins, I would love to hear it. Because uh, I struggle sometimes against uh, really good Fizz players. It can be yeah, pretty tough. All right, and on to some notable mid lane matchups just uh, based off win rates. Velkos has an amazing win rate into Gallio with that 63.86%, doing that true damage. Just 
totally ignoring his shield and doing just massive amounts of team fight damage where Gowie was trying to carry in those team fights as well. It just seems like uh, Velkaz is a bigger carry. And uh, on to Azir. Uh, we already went over him. It, he has a great matchup into him. Just abusing his range with a 58% uh, win rate is very good. And some really tough matchups that I wouldn't recommend uh, taking Velkaz into. Fizz uh, has a very, very good time against you. And uh, Velkaz has about 44% win rate into uh, Velkaz. And Ari can also be a tough matchup just with her three dashes, insane mobility, and her charm can also stop your ult can also just be chasing you down and she you only have a 46 percent win rate into ari so uh, just be careful taking velikaz into that uh, matchup now let's uh, get into the support matchups now what i really like taking that uh, velikaz into the pick support so i know it seems a little counterintuitive blitzcrank being a pretty hard matchup but you are able to punish them so hard when they miss their all-in attempts of like the hook from Thresher Blitzcrank or the Zenith Blade from Leona. It's a very feast or famine lane, which I just love where you're just punished really hard for your mistakes, but you can punish them so hard. All right, and on to the uh, tank support matchups. Uh, these are relatively easy. Um, you should be focusing most of your damage on the ADCs, um, you do have decent shred with your uh, true damage. Um, I'd say Velkaz is a fine pick into either to any of these uh, tank supports and just uh, kind of abusing your range, giving your ADC an easy lane, and uh, it's just a, a great all-around pick here. And on to the most boring <laughs> matchups for support Velkaz, the Enchanter supports. It is just a pure battle of their sustain they're either their shields or their heals against your mana bar and whoever wins those <laughs> sustained battles is usually going to come out the victor in those matchups it is just so annoying to see you dumping some mana getting your all in and then soraka just heals it up so just uh i i really like taking a mage like brand or something into these matchups just because you're able to do a little bit more burst to burst them out um i mean if you're if you want to snore fest and then just try and beat them in team fights uh, i'd say take some velcos into the enchanter supports and moving on to some notable support matchups, uh, Velkaz has a great time into Morgana, having a 54.88% win rate into her. Um, you just have great range, you just have to dodge that super slow moving Q, and uh, it should be just a very, very easy matchup. You just have so much more impact in team fights, and uh, it's just... It's just a very easy lane. I love seeing a Morgana support getting locked in. I just instantly take Velkaz into it. And on to uh, another support, kind of magey um, damage support, uh, which is uh, Lux. Now, she is a very high econ um, mage. I really don't think she fits the support role that well. So Velkaz just has so much more effect than her with so much less gold. I, I mean... They're, they might be a little bit comparable in the mid lane, but Velkaz just shines in this matchup, just dealing so much more damage with the same amount of gold as the support Lux. And it shows with uh, the win rate of Velkaz having a 55.58% win rate over her. Now into some of the tougher uh, support matchups uh, against Blitzcrank, Velkaz has a 45.84% win rate against uh, him. So it is just uh, the hook is very good into Velkaz being so squishy, so susceptible to being ran down by his W and hooked just because Velkaz is so immobile and it's just really a long range carry. And uh, on that second notable support matchup that is pretty rough with Velkaz is that boring Soraka lane that's just going to heal through all of your damage and just watch as your mana bar gets <laughs> depleted. So uh, if you I really wouldn't recommend running Velkaz into Soraka. It's just a very boring and <laughs> it's just a very boring lane. It, I, I would not recommend it. All right, and that will do it for Velkaz's matchups. And that will do it for my Velkaz guide for the mid and support lane. 
just wanted to thank you guys so much for the support recently getting uh, more subs it's really cool to interact with you guys also in the comments section giving some tips and tricks about the mages i'm making uh, guides on some really cool stuff recently uh <laughs> One really cool tip that I heard uh, is if there's any Swain players out there, it is a great pick into Malzahar because your Q one shots his minions and then you get a lot of mana back. So, just kind of a random tip, just throwing it out there. I just thought it was a great comment by uh, one of my viewers and I just wanted to share it with you guys if you didn't see it on the Swain uh, guide that I made earlier. Um, and Again, uh, all feedback and critique is welcome to all my videos. I'm really looking to improve uh, my content. Uh, I really uh, like making this kind of educational content and just let me know if there's something I'm doing that you don't like or something that you want me to go into more, like matchups more, or maybe do some more uh, laning type of uh, guides, maybe uh, with how you trade with certain things. I could go more in depth with that just because I do have over like a thousand games on mages, so it is very, <laughs> I, I'm pretty well versed on trading in lane. So uh, thank you guys again, and if you like the content, please like and subscribe, and as always, take it easy.